One of my great delights in the past couple of years has been my involvement in the Institute for Conversational Leadership, and especially the work of Invitas with poet David White and my other colleagues. One of the things that we do in Invitas is we look at the elements of conversational leadership and create exercises and activities and conversations around what it means to embody those things about being a conversational leader. And one of my favorite elements of the seven elements is stopping the conversation. And this is really important in fact, I would say that it's most important for any kind of transformation and any kind of uh, innovation, creativity, spaces you want to go, uh, places you want to go deeper, is to stop the conversation you're having now. And we know that we need to stop the conversation because much like those non-beautiful questions, it's exhausting. And sometimes we just need to take a sharp right turn or just close our mouths, but we have to stop. And the reason we have to stop is because if we keep having the same story, the same conversation, the same thing over and over again, we do not create the kind of spaciousness that we need in order to imagine something new and different. And organizations get stuck in this all the time. And you can see it. You can see it on their faces around the table. You can see it in the way that they're interacting. They feel like, wow, here we are back at this conversation again. So it feels disruptive and subversive sometimes to say, you know, let's just stop this conversation. You know, this sense of divine discontent starts to emerge. And you think, I don't, let's not go down this path anymore. What would it be like if we looked over here instead? It's one of the most simple but essential elements, not only of conversational leadership, but also of the way that we're gonna create new organizations to meet the paradigm of the new horizon.